So you don't like Microsoft Edge on Windows 10 Mobile? Well, on the store you can find a bunch of different browsers, but which one to choose? Because some of them, they are not even browsers, they are just applications, that's like spam applications. Well, today I got three different browsers that are my favorites, and each of them have a different purpose. And the three browsers are Shia Browser, Caravel Browser, and Opera Browser. So let's check them out. So on the top 3 we have Opera Mini, which I use it on the top 3 because how it's official from Opera, it doesn't get so frequent updates, but it deserves the spot because it's available for Windows Phone 8 and 8.1 and also Windows 10, which is the only one from my top 3 available for both. And also it's on my top 3 because the data savings, which are really huge whenever I'm on 3G. When you are on Wi-Fi, I don't see a reason to use this Opera Mini, but when you are on 3G and you want to save data then this is kind of like a must. On the settings you can't really change many things rather than the text size and the connection and also change some backgrounds which it changes only the background it's not like a theme but anyway when uh, opening a website uh, as you will see here in a few seconds uh, the page will look very minimalistic and it looks very min minimalistic and also a bit ugly let's say because it saves the data and that's the purpose of Opera Mini to save the data uh, and yeah it looks a bit ugly but as you can see re receives 2.2 from 15 megabytes which is a real huge save and here also the download section which I don't really download nothing with it but I just use it for browse whenever I am on 3G. And in the top 2 we have Shia Browser or whatever it's called because it has a weird name but as you can see this Shia browser it has the search bar at the bottom and not at the top like uh, most of the browsers and it's really handy because it has a night mode which I use it really much during the night because during the night we want less brightness when we read something or we search for something and this Shia browser it's available only for Windows 10 but it's available for both mobile and also desktop or tablets. Has also download section which at the moment I don't have nothing and here when watching the settings uh, the settings are very minimalistic but it has most the settings that uh, we need and it has also some customiza customization but this customization uh, you can only use it uh, if you purchase the app but which I didn't, I use the free version but with the free version you can use the app, the browser pretty much uh, do everything only the, the, that customization you can't really use it I'm here going to try open some tabs so you can see how the tabs work and also here a comparison uh, not a comparison but see how this Amazon page looks compared to from Opera Mini which was a dating saver here it doesn't save any data but uh, it opens the page uh, normally and um, you can't really also drag or keep press on the tabs you can only uh, switch between them and uh, close the tabs here gonna try to open more uh, tabs trying trying to open Google and let's uh, open another tab uh, gonna try to open Google Maps which Google Maps uh, requires more internet connection and uh, it will be a bit slow but just to see how it opens uh, heavier pages and it takes a bit time but it opens without any problem and here we can see all the three tabs which is really easy to close them and yeah this deserves the top two. And on the top one we have Caravelli Browser, which is a weird name but it's a new browser and this browser is actually really cool but it's available only for Windows 10 uh, mobile, it's not available for Windows 10 desktop so it's not a, a universal application. Uh, here on the settings it has uh, some basic basic settings, default search there, Bing and Google only. Um, also download section which at the moment don't have nothing and also here on the personalization also the, actually the personalization it's not uh, really a personalization it only like uh, changes the icon on the start screen and that's about it on the personalization which I hope that they will bring some more personalization to the application like choose between light light team and dark team uh, but overall uh, the application it's very smooth and very intuitive I like how the that bar opens from the right and here when uh, searching for uh, for a website it doesn't like give you the searches but uh, I like how it opens the tabs it feels like it opens the tabs like on the on PC like as you can see here we're trying to open YouTube but I like how it opens the tabs it's really intuitive and really as actually really well designed 
but more important, it's fast, it opens fast, and uh, that's nice about it. When you press in home, uh, it just uh, not closes the other tabs, but it just goes to home, and then you press on the tabs uh, to, to show you the full tabs, and to add a page to your favorite, you just press on the favorite button, and it will pop up the favorite uh, option, and you just can add the page to the favorite very easily, and also you can just press on, the, on a favorite that you have added, that you want to delete, and delete it very easily, and also you can delete very easy the tabs, which is uh, my favorite browser so far. With it saying, thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments uh, which are the favorite browsers on Windows 10 Mobile that you have and you have if you have any other favorite browser so far. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.